Hello there, Cardinal Ambrosic, and welcome. Today is Friday, September the 11th, 2020, and um, well, a little bit, uh, a little bit more to share today than uh, than typically normal for our daily check-ins. Uh, first of all, today we had our cohort B, or our second group of grade 10, 11, and 12 students. And again, it was great to see uh, so many familiar faces, including our core team members. Um, just so thankful, so thankful for being back. Uh, today is a very special day. 19 years ago today, uh, for those of us who remember, uh, were the 9-11 uh, attacks in uh, New York City, the World Trade Center. And uh, those images were, were, were very frightening, uh, very striking. And um, I'm sure if I was to ask uh, all of you who were, um, or who remember that time, or who were uh, witnesses to um, uh, to what we saw on the social media or what we saw on TV, uh, you would probably say that you remember the exact point, uh, the exact place, and the exact time. Um, so this morning, let us really keep in, in our prayers and keep in our hearts and thoughts uh, all victims of uh, the 9-11 attacks. Uh, I believe just over 3,000 people had died that day, uh, not only Americans, but many people from around the world who lived in New York City, but also worked in the World Trade Center. Uh, so our prayers and thoughts are with all Americans today and with everyone affected by the 9-11 attacks 19 years ago today. Uh, an important message for our core team member, we are meeting on Tuesday, Tuesday at 1 p.m. We will be meeting virtually uh, to review our year, uh, to review our roles and responsibilities, and to begin to get uh, ready for our small groups. Uh, again, things are changing daily as we speak, uh, but we uh, we will be meeting and we will be getting everyone organized uh, for the school year. However it might look, we will get organized and move forward. Uh, also, uh, today is the end of the first week, and there's been so much discussion, not only amongst teachers about um, about our time here, but also with students as they're sharing a little bit more uh, at the end of our week. And um, it's mixed emotions. It's a mixed bag, to be honest. Uh, everyone is excited to be here because we're physically in the building. Uh, we get to see our faces, mind you, mostly our eyes. Um, but the real struggle is that we see that the number of cases of, of, of COVID, of the virus, continue to rise. Uh, we see that students are not expecting what they thought they would when they arrive here. They're quickly being brought into class and quickly being sent out. Um, so there is some frustration there too, and there's some anxiety. So we need to continue to be positive. We need to continue to be optimistic and continue to work together and to stay united. So um, now that we are at the end of our first week, um, let us look forward to the next week and continuing to build upon uh, what we've already started to build uh, here at Cardinal Ambrosic. And finally, as you can see, I've got my Raptors uh, shirt on today, Game 7 tonight. Whether you're a Raptors fan or you're not, make sure you watch that game or at least the highlights. We're hoping for a big, big win tonight so we can uh, move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Anyways, uh, it is Friday, and as we do each and every Friday at Cardinal Ambrosic, we pray our school prayer. And so please join me this morning, or this day, as we pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ has no body on earth but yours, no hands but yours, no feet but yours. Yours are the feet with which he goes about doing good, and yours are the hands with which he is to bless us now. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I actually remember that. I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot. Anyways, CA, um, it's great to be back. Have a wonderful afternoon. Have a great long weekend. And we'll see you back here on Monday. God bless you.